Okay, this is one of the newest poem I read it first time last night in uh, uh, Croatian Sangha and uh, now in the front of you for your pleasure and uh, Radhika's pleasure. And Gurudev is not here, no? Okay. So the name of this song is uh, Why I Love Autumn. So, why do I love autumn? Because of the leaves. The leaves of the molten gold hue. In this golden hue, I see the beauty of Radha's face. These leaves are heart-shaped emeralds of the Raja's trees. Tears of the divine couple remain on them, while they were looking for each other with longing places. Radhika's tears stained the leaves in yellow, from Krishna's tears as well, they became golden, as the yellowish color from Radha's cheeks flew into his eyes, while his heart drew her image on them. Why do I love autumn? For the reason that colorful carpet the wind had woven and laid on the ground, since the feet toes of Kishore Kishori touch while standing on it. Why autumn makes me happy? Because the smell of rain is not the smell of rain only, but intoxicating sweetness of Radha's feet. Those feet accompany the wet grass after stormy rain looking for Govinda by Govardhan Hill. And this scent of honey does not intoxicate everyone, but them whose hearts you touch, O Sundari. In every drop they see monsoon clouds over Vrindavan's forest. Why am I looking forward to autumn? because of the spring that will come after the fall and the long winter, as then the planet will swell again, and from the trees emeralds will shine again. Some new buds will open their petals, and all for you, O oh my queen. I will use them to make garlands for you and Mohan, small enough and one for both of you. When I put them around your shoulders, your faces will be close enough. So, thank you for your attention, Radhi. Radhi, Radhi, thank you, Radhi Kripakataksha. Thank you very much. It's so nice always to have this poetic introduction in our sharings so that we can enter in the mood. And now Anantaji will read Raghunath's poems, verse. <laughs> Beautiful song. Uh, today we read uh, verse 22 uh, of uh, Vilapaka Sumanjali. O Shashimuki, moon faced girl, after your bath, may I gently and carefully wipe the water from your tender limbs 
with fine towers as the border of your fish-like eyes joyfully move in all directions. And then, with goose pimples of ecstasy on my body, after covering your hips with a red silken petticoat, may I cover all your limbs from your head down with an incomparably beautiful blue sari. Notes. Okay. Uh, once again, O oh, Shashimuki, moon faced girl, after your bath, may I gently and carefully wipe the water from, the, from your tender limbs with fine towels as the borders of your fish-like eyes joyfully move in all directions and then with goose pimples of ecstasy on my body after covering your hips with the red silken petticoat may I cover all your limbs from your head down with an incomparably beautiful blue sari. Note. In his Svarupa Vesh, Sri Raguna Das has a wonderful vision. May Maya, in the form of bodily consciousness, not take my mind away from the lotus feet of my beloved deity. Maya stops one from remembering the beloved deity. As a servant of Maya, I desire different things and my remembrance of you has gone far away. The scriptures and the great teachers have said that the Raga devotee must fix himself firmly on his Svarupavesh. In Prema Bhakti Chandrika it is written Now I will tell you my opinion about the path of continuous devotion. These words are the essence of the popular and Vedic teachings. If you follow in the footsteps of the Sakis, you will attain a spiritual body in Raja. In this way, you will gratify your spiritual self. Nothing else but this can gratify the hearts of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. No one can attain perfection while being a bodily consciousness. Although Sri Sanatana Goswami Radhe, Radhe. Was the... Ooh, Radhe, Radhe. And then, yes, we can stop here before Sorry. Sanatan Goswami. Yes, just to make some small, short ob observation. I hope that Janandaji will help us also. I see him. So, in the words, we can feel how much nectar is a present. Nectar of pure love, nectar of transcendental love, relationship between maidservant and Shimati Radharani, who is embodiment of that love. 
and by reading the words or listening or meditating on the words if we are doing this deeply and diving in each emotion which is bursting out from the Raghunath's words, words, then there is no place for Maya. And immediately we can make experiment and immediately we can receive realization that during the listening, of these words in which so much feelings, eagerness, love is condensed, mind doesn't have a time to be attracted for other things. And the more devotee is fixing his mind in the words of Raghunath, especially here when we are reading today this verse 22 from Vilapa. He, by his own, he has, he can realize that mind can be a friend, but only if he is absorbed in this nectarian, sweet, loving pastimes. And Baba here is giving us answer why it's so difficult sometimes to be absorbed in Lila in the past times, because still influence of material energy is very strong in the life of Sadak. And we should not be naive and think that we can overcome this strong material energy. But by following the words of those persons who are free from influence of material energy, who are opening the windows and the doors of a real transcendental world, we can put our mind in that realm and then automatically our heart will absorb this impression which are coming from Lila to the mind and then to the heart. So this is, Baba is giving diagnosis. This is the problem of conditioned soul, to be under the influence of material energy. But there is solution. Try to open your heart and your mind and be absorbed in bhajan, especially spontaneous bhajan, spontaneous loving raga emotions. So Baba is saying here, Maya stops one from remembering the beloved deity. How this Shakti, this strong energy, stops 
from remembering. One of the function of Maya is to cover the soul with forgetfulness. In the moment where soul is coming in material world, material energy covers him with forgetfulness. On what? On his real, normal, constitutional position, that it is the spiritual soul. From this forgetfulness, appears attraction for Maya. Maya is very expert to show herself very, very attractive to the senses and mind and also false ego. She is very tricky. So in that way we sh cannot be so naive. Because she is doing through our mind and through our senses to attract us for this show, performance in material world. So she is covering with forgetfulness the soul. Then she is attracting the senses. And then she acts very easily to put the person in complete illusion. So those devotees who were reading Bhagavad Gita, They are familiar with this. And Krishna is talking to Arjuna. Davi gunamai mamamaya duratya. No one can overcome my material energy. And it's possible only by my mercy. How my mercy acts in the form of Guru, Kripa, Vaishnava Kripa, and Sadhu Kripa, the mostly. Because when the soul comes in material world, attachments for material world appears. And what's going on in that illusion? Fear appears. Strong fear. Because the soul is separated from his source. Supreme Personality of Godhead. And is separated from his love. And result of that, that fear appears. And when fear appears, it's a su such a destructive feeling. After fear appears anger. I'm so angered inside of me, outside of me, on everything and everyone. I'm trying to not be anger, but actually, because of this fear, it's very easy for me to become anger. And those, again, we are mentioning Bhagavad Gita. Krishna is talking to Arjuna. Vitaraga Baya Kroda. Just give up your Raga 
your attachment for material world, give up your fear, Baya, and give up your Kroda, your anger, which is deeply rooted in your conditioned state of consciousness. How to give up Vitaraga Baya Kroda? By developing real Raga, real attachment for the Lord, for the Ishtadev, attachment for His love, with real, your real spiritual identity. So Baba is saying here, for Gaudiya Vaishnavas, nothing else, but this can gratify the hearts of Gaudiya Vaishnavas. What can gratify, what can satisfy Gaudiya Vaishnavas? When our when they are engaged in pure devotional service to embodiment of love, Shimateradara. And when the person, when the soul is deeply connected, attached, with pure love, then Maya cannot harm that person. So we should at least understand that, how this material world is functioning, why we are here in this material world, and how to get out of this. Anantaji will read and continue now, but I just wanted to give this short introduction so that we, in the beginning, you see, Words, if we read, listen, words is pure rasik nectar. Isn't it? But to really relish this nectar of these words, like Radha Kripa Kataksha also <clears throat> was reading his poems, to really relish each emotion behind each syllable of that word, we have to be free from Maya. And this is a gradual process. Because this, for example, are meant, the, the main purpose of them is to develop eagerness for loving relationship with beloved Ishtadev. And this is from that point everything what is necessary in the life of devotee will spontaneously appear in his consciousness, in his heart, in his mind, and pervade all his senses. But if we use this opportunity of this Sangha, these talkings, just to gather more information, more information, for information, we will lack the essence. And we'll, we will miss opportunity, which is actually 
the sign of great Kripa from Radha, from Mohan, from Nittai Gaur, and ultimately from our Gurudev. Yanandaji, if you want to share something or later on maybe you can, as you wish. If something crosses your mind, yeah, so, many things. You know. So beautiful, so beautiful, your explanation, so beautiful. I was just observing. And just to come into my mind, uh, radicals, fish-like eyes. Why Ragnata does using fish-like eyes? I was a little bit wondering this one. Because fish, makara, means some symbol of uh, Cupid, love god. So therefore, this radical eye is full of Mahababa, full of love. And also, a fish is always moving. Means Radhika's eye is always moving because she wants to catch Mohans. So this fish-like eyes, just meditating fish-like eyes of Radhika, uh, we feel some kind of uh, ecstasy. And uh, another point is this Prema Bhakti Chandrika. Baba mentioned Prema Bhakti Chandrika. And then <clears throat> he said, if you follow, if you follow in the footsteps of the Sakis, you will attain a spiritual body in Braj. So this Saki, Saki means many variety of Saki. There is five kinds of Sakis, and especially Prana Saki, Nitya Saki is Manjari. So here, uh, I feel, <laughs> I feel Narottam Das Thakur Mahashaya, he's mentioned Saki, but actually he meant for Manjari. Because if we read Prema Bhakti Chandrika, Narottam Das goal is to become Made servant of Radhika and Saki, I know, uh, uh, Manjari and Kinkari. So, and, uh, and in this way, you will gratify your spiritual self, means our Swarupa. So this is Narottamadas Thakur's beautiful Prema Bhakti Chandrika. And this show us uh, how to become Manjari, how to attain Siddha Swarupa. This following the footstep of the Saki. What is the foot, foot, footstep of the Saki? This I feel, this is the mood and behavior of Saki and Manjari. Because this feeling is most important for us because we are following Laga Anuga. Which kind of Laga? 
This is Babo Urasarasa. We are, we are following Rupa Manjari and Torashi Manjari's feeling. Our Guru Manjari's feeling. So this Narottama Das, this verse is, I think, very important. How can we attain Siddha Swarup? This following footstep, following the mood, following behavior. So that's my feeling. So thank you very much. So you can witness now the waves. My talkings about Maya and how Jainandaji makes a rasa. He is helping us to get out from this circle of material energy and be more focused on rasa because this is the only way how we can attain our normal position by following the footsteps, mood, emotions, the heart of Sakis, Manjari Sakis. Thank you, Jainandaji. Rade, Rade. <clears throat> Can I add something? Uh, Jalandji mentioned here in text uh, fish like eyes of Radharani, and these fish like eyes joyfully move in all directions, looking, searching for Mohana. And uh, Baba also is mentioned in uh, text before, in explanation, in notes also mention uh, fish like eyes but of sucky centers and i will just read one sentence from there so during the batting festival the fish like eyes of the sakis and manjaris swim in the endless nectar stream of swamini's beautiful face eyes lips teeth, and limbs. So we can see that in one way, fish like eyes, Swamini always searching for Mohana, and from other side, the fish like eyes of Manjaris always look for, always swim in this nectar stream of Swamini's beautiful face, eyes, lips, limbs, etc. Uh, we can continue. No one can attain perfection while being in bodily consciousness. Although Sri Sanatana Goswami was thrown jewel of scholars, he still humbly inquired from Sriman Mahaprabhu. In Chaitanya Sharitamita it is written, Who am I? Why I am suffering? the threefold miseries. I don't know what is my own benefit. I ask you what is the means and what is the goal, for I don't know. Please tell me all these truths yourself. Sriman Mahaprabhu gave the following very simple answer. Jivera Swarupa Hoi, Krishna Ranitya Dasa, Krishna Ratatashta Shakti, Beda Beda Prakasha. 
the constitutional position of the spirit soul is that it is the eternal servant of Krishna. It is Krishna's marginal potency and is both different and non-different from Krishna. The living entity is Krishna's eternal servant, but he has forgotten that. And for that, hold, Maya has bound him around the neck. But when the soul worships Krishna and serves the Guru's feet, the network of Maya will break and he will attain Krishna's lotus feet. But Radhe, you hear me? Okay. So again, we will stop here. And immediately we can remember Gurudev's words. That person first has to assign with Krishna. And to assign first with Krishna, he has to accept his position like his servant. Without accepting that position, it's not possible to assign Krishna. And here, Sanatana Goswami, through his own example, how he approached to Mahaprabhu and what he asked him, he is showing us, actually, the position of conditioned soul, intelligent questions of the conditioned souls and readiness to accept the answer. Because Sanatana Goswami approached Mahaprabhu in a very humble way and he asked him for the help to remove his confusion to remove his coverings of illusion. And he said, I don't know who am I, why I'm suffering. I don't know what is good for me, what is benefit, my benefit, ultimate benefit. I don't know the goal, I don't know the way to attain that goal. So please help me. <clears throat> so this is the intelligent questions <clears throat> of the someone who understands I am really stuck in this material energy. And I want to go out. In that moment, person is ready to surrender to Krishna. Because he understands the trap of Maya, and he has desire first one to get out from this circle. So, in this question, uh, which Sanatana Goswami asked Sanatana, we can recognize four types of anarthas, actually. Illusion about Supreme Personality of Godhead.
second illusion about my spiritual identity and relationship with him. Illusion about the goal of life and illusion about the sadhana. How to attain that goal of life <clears throat> prema. So everyone who is living in material world, he has these four kinds of illusions. <clears throat> Illusion about spiritual, a supreme personality of Godhead. Illusion about himself, his spiritual identity. Illusion about the goal of life, and that is the prema. And illusion how to attain that goal through proper sadhana. And these kind of illusions are bounding the soul very, very tightly. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving the short answer like it was very short question. But every word in that question is the essence. And every word of answer of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is holding deeply the essence. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying Constitutional position of the spirit soul is, is that is eternal servant of Krishna. Constitutional position, illusional position, sorry, of the soul is that is opponent of Krishna. But constitutional position of the soul is to be the servant. Krishna knew that. I remember when I joined Association of Devotees. Actually, it was most difficult thing for me to accept. I accepted so many other things. But to accept that I'm just a servant of the servant of the servant. And this is my constitutional position. It was not so easy. And still is not so easy. <clears throat> but we can see here how Mahaprabhu, in just one sentence of answer, gave <laughs> all uh, all solutions and Gurudev is so many times is emphasizing, pointing out, pointing out, first you have to assign with Krishna, first you have to assign Krishna. And we are t we are beating our heads why he is talking so many times, why he is talking. We are talking between each other, what he wants to say with this was a very simple point. Accept that you are not this body and accept that you are Krishna thus. How you can serve the Krishna? Jivera Swarup. This is another level. Through your spiritual identity. This is proper sadhana. If you have other conception of other sadhanas, this is your illusion about the sadhana. But if you are practiced like Janandaji, very nicely mentioning, here also, Narottam Das Thakur, in the mood of Sakis, 
in the mood of maidservants, then your sadhana is properly following the mood of Gaudiya Vaishnavas. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave another, in other words, answer, the living entity is Krishna's eternal servant, but he has forgotten that. This forgetfulness is the greatest sin. Forgetfulness, who am I really? And I remember Gurudev was mentioning few times Maria Magdalena, I'm not so much in Christianity, but at least I know that. <laughs> How she actually said that the greatest sin is that I forgot you, my beloved Lord. From that sin, from that mistake, all other mistakes are coming and coming and covering and covering. And because of that, Mahaprabhu is continuing for that fault. Yeah, you can see it fault. Maya has bound the soul around the neck. But when the soul worships Krishna and the Guru's feet, the network of Maya will break. When soul accepts his position, I am the servant, of the Lord, of the Krishna, then with this kind of consciousness, Krishna is very happy. And then he is talking inside of the person, in the heart, like Chaita Guru. Okay, finally, you came to yourself, Now, which kind of relationship you want with me? And devotees say, no, I want whatever he wants. But I know the goal. Prema is a goal. And Krishna brings him to his beloved Srimata Radharani, like embodiment of that prema, and only through Radharani you can learn how to love me. I cannot teach you how to love me. My devotee, my best devotee can teach you and infuse you with love for me. Sarva Dharma like Gurudev is saying. Now, I'm bringing you to my mom Ekam, my beloved, only one Ekam. And she will teach you. Which kind of relationship you want? She will teach you. She will infuse you with Hladine Shakti, with this love so that you can approach to me through this love. And this is the also teachings of our beloved Guru Dev. I hope that I didn't make big mistakes well, in interpretation of his words. Because now, 
things are going on another level. But up to this level, things must be clear. Soon or later. <laughs> Depends of person to person. Because now, when we step on another step, no, there is no time and there is no necessity to come back on this. But if this is not, this basement is not properly established, then many holes will be inside. And whatever we receive from above will go through these holes. But if we establish this simple, true, like the base of our spiritual life, then advancement in Raga Bhakti, Vraja Prima, Raga Bhakti, and then Bhavola Salati will be much more faster and hopeful. So I just again wanted to to share this basis, but honestly to say it I'm a very foolish person. For me it took many, many decades to accept that and to understand that. Many persons here are more fortunate than me and they can grasp it very quickly. So, Goranga Sundraji, can I share a little bit? Yes, of course. So, this is very, very important okay. question. Pay me. And then, here did not mention Chaitanya Charita Murita say, everybody is thinking I'm very learned scholar. But actually, I don't know who am I. I don't know what is my own benefit, etc. So if we think what is Sanatana Goswami's situation at that time? At that time, Sanatana Goswami was, I think, pri like prime minister of Nawan, Nabufsensha. So he is, Sanatana Goswami does not want actually serve Nabufsensha, honestly speaking, but he has to act as like prime minister to, to, to help Islam kingdom. At that time, Nabaf Sensha was, you know, Muslim like, king. He's a very crazy man. He was planning to attack Prata Pardura, to attack Lord Jagannath's, you know, kingdom. And then Sanatana Gansa say, sorry, I cannot do this. I cannot help to attack my Ishtadeva. It is for, for me impossible for me to, to help you to attack Vaishnava country like Jagannatha Puri, like Orissa. So at that time, so Sanatana goes, I'm thinking I'm so foreign. Because I'm at so much association with Navam Sensha. So, and therefore, I think this word is coming. I was born a district Brahman family, but unfortunately, now I'm like Shudra, I'm associating with Murecha and Yavana. And uh, I am acting 
sometime against Vedic culture. So this is Sanatana Goswami's word. And uh, this Mahaprabhu's answer is, uh, it seems very simple answer. And uh, actually, just uh, we come, we, we, we back. If you follow in the steps, in the, in the footstep of the Saki, you will attain spiritual body in Buraja. <laughs> actually, Ramananda, Ramananda Sambada is, as mentioned, especially Nara Maharaj at that time mentioned. Actually, we may have different relationship with the Lord according to our desire or according to our, our likening. And then at that time, Nara Maharaj said, <laughs> Like he, he express, uh, Gita's bus. Ye yata man prapadante. Tans tataiva bajameha, bajameham. Mama bartu manu bartante, manusha paruta sarbashu. So this is, According to, this is Pavupada, Pavupada mentioned. Here, Nana Maharaj translation, O Parta, in which, whichever way a person renders service to me, I serve him in that very same way. Everyone follows my pass in all respect. So that means whatever we have Baba, we have feeling to serve Krishna or serve Radha. Some person want to Krishna as Saka. Sometime person want to serve as parents like uh, Yashoda Maya. Or somebody want to serve as gopi or saki and manjaris. So we are, we are Krishna's eternal servant. And, but at first we have to, we have to realize we have spirit soul. A Guru Dev's word is soul consciousness. Or, and so among the soul consciousness, highest consciousness is Gopi, Gopi Baba. Sometimes I was, <laughs> I'm wondering why Guru Dev say soul consciousness is, is Gopi Baba. <laughs> Because soul consciousness means Ishtadeva is Krishna. Worship is Krishna. So highest, highest type of worshiping Krishna is Gopi. According to Ananda Das Baba's word, according to Bhagatam, highest attainment is uh, Brindaban's gopi, serving Mahababa of the gopi in Lasadira, in Buraja. So here at first, Mahababa say, at first you become soul consciousness and should be Krishna's Ishtadeva. And then someone who has more qualification get more qualification. And then, uh, Gauranga Sundara mentioned, now you are ready 
you can learn love, love from Radhika. And you can go because I don't, I cannot teach love because my guru, my prema guru is Radhika. <laughs> you, you know, you can go, you may go to serve Radhika. So, and then this is happening. And then in this comment next to Ananda's bow sentence, so beautiful. So we would like to hear. So thank you very much. <laughs> Energy. Thank you very much. Yes, now, now it's another step, which we are waiting so eagerly. <laughs> Please, Anantaji. Uh, I will answer once again the answer of Sriman Mahaprabhu. Uh, the living entity is Krishna's eternal servant. But he has forgotten that. And for that fault, Maya has bound him around the neck. But when the soul worships Krishna and serves the Guru's feet, the network of Maya will break and he will attain Krishna's lotus feet. But the Gaudiya Vaishnavas do not have their aspirations fulfilled unless they worship Shivada and they attain Shivada's lotus feet. Sri Raghunata is burning in the fire of separation from Shivada only. He has no other shelter but Shirada's lotus feet. In Vishaka Ananda Dashtotram, it is written, I worship lotus eyed Radha. I remember the sweetly smiling face of Radha. And I speak of Radha, who is filled with compassion. In this way, there is no other shelter for me. So, Radhe, this is the special mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. For the Kali Yuga conditioned souls, he opened the door and possibility to attain the position of Radharani's maid servant. So, in very simple way, Raghunath is talking here, I worship Lotus I Radha. Worship, it doesn't mean only Archana, with paraphernalia. I worship with my love, with my attachment, with my addiction. I worship with all my heart. I love you. my lotus side Radha. And I want to know you better and better, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. Then I always want to remember your smiling face. And I want to speak about you. This is the purpose of my tongue. This is the purpose of my mouth. This is the purpose of my breath. Life airs to glorify you. And you are so filled with compassion. This is your beautiful quality that you are embodiment of love, but you are also embodiment of compassion. Each pore on your Mahabhava body is filled with compassion. It's not that your compassion is your, in your heart. 
all your body is also embodiment of compassion. And this is the reason why I want to worship you. I want to love you. I want to glorify you. I want to remember you. Because there is no other shelter than you. I know for your Krishna, I already assigned. <laughs> but now I want to become the shadow of yours, my beloved. And this is why I want this. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mercifully gave this opportunity even to me, who is completely unqualified. But causelessly, he gave it. And I don't want to think why he didn't give before, why he gave now, or what this and that. He gave to me. And he sent me. Radharani's maidservant, very close maidservant, to teach me through his or her love for you, how I can love you, my dear Rad. So we can see here how this is completely another stage, another step. And when the consciousness is completely open, without any doubts, without any confusions, then the soul can flow like a stream, like a strong river in the mood of Manjari Bhav by following the emotions of Sakis, Rupa Manjari, Rati Manjari, and so on and so on up to my Guru Manjari. Goranga, one question for you. For me? Oh, yes. ask Janandaji, he knows to answer this. <laughs> uh, no, but you spoke yes. about this uh, yeah. exact subject, so it's a question for you first. You said that we have to, uh, actually, if we approach to Krishna to ask him for prema and for our relationship uh, for him, uh, he will uh, send us to Radhika because uh, she is the biggest devotee of him to learn us how to love him, how to attain Prema, isn't it? But look, if we approach the Radhika and face ourselves with her sweetness, with uh, her present uh, in our heart, start to communicate with her, so it's a big possibility that we'll uh, become her maid servant, and how then he can uh, develop the relationship to Krishna. For example, many devotees like me in the past worship the Krishna, try to worship Krishna to, uh, to attain this relationship uh, to Krishna, to discover this prema in the heart. But finally, Radha came to me, not Krishna. So the question is, if you want to attain Krishna, should we Worship Radha and contrary. Can you explain something about this? <laughs> Thank you very much. This is a very clever question, actually. Yeah. And many devotees, especially in the beginning, when they have to make this shift <laughs> from Krishna to Radha, actually, they have this kind of question. So we should understand. The secret of rasa, the science of rasa, the secret of rasa. Rasa is possible only in the pure state of consciousness. It's not possible to exchange 
in conditional light. This is rasa, but we are not talking about this material rasa. We are talking about pure rasa. So rasa cannot be relished, exchanged without bhava, without emotion. And this emotion, this bhava, has to be infused from person who has this bhava. And the more sadaka receives this bhava, this emotion, pure emotions, then his rasa is increasing more and more. The more rasa is increasing, the bhava is also more increased. And it's constantly like waves which are exchanging. So why I'm talking about this? Because devotee who wants to make close relationship with Shimata Radharani, first he has to fix himself. Do I want to become Radharani's girlfriend, Saki, or I want to become her maidservant? When I my decision is fixed strong, I'm trying to follow only the maidservants. I'm still a weak. My decision is here, but still I'm weak. I'm not so strong. I, there is no, I'm not so fixed in my bala, stai bala. So, I just want to focus myself on following the footsteps of my Guru Manjari up to Rupa Manjari. And like Narutama is saying in Prema Bhakti Chandrika, just forget it, Lalita and Vishaka. Don't follow them. He's very openly saying, don't follow them. I am glorifying them, but don't follow them. <laughs> Just follow Rupa and Tulsi Manjari. So we because we should understand when we give respect to someone, it doesn't mean that we have to follow that person. It doesn't mean if I give respect to my neighbor because he is very nice person and I want to be cult culture, nice, polite with him, that I have to follow him. And many devotees made these kind of mistakes. When they respect someone, immediately they start to follow. Without any consideration and without any discrimination. Because they don't understand Giving respect and following is the two different things. If you follow someone, you are doing it with love and heart. And automatically respect is present there. It's not separate. So many old devotees in old times, they accept the mood, I want to become Krishna devotee. But actually, this is even not a Krishna devotee. This is Bhagavan devotee. We call it Krishna Krishna. But our mood is, we call it Gopa, Govinda, Shyama, Krishna, this, that. But in the heart is Bhagavan. You know the trick? You recognize this trick? I have experience with that because I did that. <laughs> My own realization is. Because if we say Krishna, it means only Rajendra Nandana. But no one told us. Because they don't have realizations about that. 
only Vraja Vrindavan is a Krishna. And then the question is, who's Krishna I want to worship? Yashoda's Krishna, Subhal's Krishna, Lalita's Krishna, or Radharani's Krishna. Immediately, when you come in the realm of Vrindavan, you have to take the shelter of someone who is embodiment of that specific relationship with Krishna. And in that way, you will satisfy him and worship him the most. This is the trick <laughs> of Vrindavan. If you want to have loving friendship with Krishna and you want to give him pleasure, you have to take a shelter of Subal, Madhumangal, clothes, boys, coward boys, because they will teach you how to love him like a friend. It will not teach you Yashoda. No, Subal will teach you. And then, when you be infused with this Saka Bhav, with this Saka frame, Saka love, you can please him. And this is the worship of Krishna through his beloved devotee. If you want to be a parent to little Krishna, it's completely necessary to take the shelter of Yashoda because Yashoda is embodiment of motherly love. It's not Krishna. Krishna is not embodiment of motherly or fatherly love. He is Gopal. He is naughty boy. He is a liar. He is a stealer. But mother, Yashoda can infuse you, or Nanda, infused with motherly or fatherly love. And then with, when you approach Krishna with this motherly love, he will be pleased and satisfied. He will accept his position that he is your beloved Gopal or son. And when we want, when we are attracted to Madhurya Rasa, we should take the shelter of someone who is embodiment in this Madhurya love. Gopis, Lalita Vishaka and so on. Or, ultimately, the source of all gopis, Shimateradara. And when we be infused with, completely infused with Khladini Shakti, not partially, completely, we will become the shadows of Shimateradarani because the person will feel same like Radhika. And in that moment, Radharani's maidservant who is feeling the same like Radhika is actually in the position to please Krishna the most. So pleasing Krishna is always going through his beloved devotee who is firmly established in his relationship. And by pleasing Radharani, Krishna will be pleased. By pleasing Radharani, maidservant will know what is exactly in the heart of Krishna how to make a meeting with him, with Radhika, and so on and so on. Krishna will run 
for that person. Krishna will pray to that person. You see how when Krishna is pleased with someone, he is running after him. And pray, please, remove her mana. I cannot do it. I am your servant. I am her servant, and now I am your servant. And this is Rasa. And in that way, we don't have to be in fear that we will neglect Krishna. Like all devotees sometimes who are not familiar with Radha and Manjuri Bhav, they have a fear, oh, you are a paradi. You cannot talk about Krishna like this. You want me to approach Radha and forget him? No, he will run after you. You don't have to remember him. He will run after you. You cannot be rid of him, you know. <laughs> because he needs Radha's mercy. And also he needs your mercy. Then devotee who is Krishna devotee is talking, now you are completely a paradi. Why he is thinking like this? Because he doesn't understand the mood of Rajendra Nandana. He didn't assign with Krishna. Maybe he assigned with Bhagavan, Narayan, but he didn't assign with Rajendra Nandan. But someone who really assigned with Rajendra Nandana, he will understand and accept the mood of friends who want to jump on Krishna's shoulder, who are quarreling with him, who are putting from their mouth in his mouth, who are making jokes with him, you will immediately understand if you really assign with Rajendra Nandana how Mother Yashoda is shouting on her Gopal, don't do this. Why? I thousand times I told you and you are so naughty. And devotees who are Bhagavan devotees, they cannot listen to this. They cannot digest this. Move. I want to speak about Gopis and Radharani. When they start to quarrel. And this is the reason why Rupa, Raghunatha, is always saying, accept Krishna like your Laukika Bandhu. Your worldly friend. But if you accept Radha, like your Laukika Swamini, then you are following Gaudiya Vaishnava. This is exclusive path to become Rupa Ragunata Pade Oibe Atuki. And we need the time for that. Sometimes we are, we think, like before, we think that we worshipped Krishna, but actually we didn't. And now also, we have to be very careful. We think that we are worshipping Radha. But actually, maybe we are worshipping Swayam Bhagavati. And for that, we need purification. And only solution is Rasik Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha in our desirable mood. Nothing else can help us. Nothing else can purify our heart. Nothing else can prepare our heart. And nothing else can infuse our heart. But only someone who is firmly established in this beautiful bubble, Lhasa Rati.
because he knows he is happy when Radhika is happy. He is suffering, burning from sufferings when Radhika is suffering. So we should feel it with all our soul and allow our mind to relish this. Then ego will diminish. And ultimately, person will be situated in his constitutional position. If he is not established in Raga Bhakti or Manjari Bhav, he cannot be fixed and established in his constitutional position. And this is so sweet, this is so nice and relishable. And we should develop the faith in that. And to make our faith stronger, we should associate with those who already had and has that faith. Radha Kripaka, oh, he ran away. No, oh, some interruption in his internet was. Okay. This is the process. I remember why uh, last year we were talking, Jainandaji and me, and in one moment I said, or he said, he said actually, this is the long run. Bhakti is on a long run. It's not short run. This is on a long, but this is a marathon, my dears. <laughs> he knows that. He has experience. And all devotees also have. This is on a long run. All life. You have all life education, but this is all life devotion. It's not hobby. It's not hobby. It starts like a hobby. But when we are going deeply, we want to stay the longest as we can. Down, deeply, drown with this beautiful Manjari Bal Rasa. This is the reason why we became devotees, believe me or not. Why we are attracted so much about bhakti, even if we didn't know in the beginning. So we can allow ourselves to relish the fruits of bhakti. Real, mature, ripen fruits of bhakti through the words of acharyas. Nirigoranga. Oh, you appear. Uh, yeah, my connection was lost uh, for some minutes. Uh, is there this enough? Is time? Yeah, is it is it is there enough time to say something? Yeah, actually, yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, you mentioned uh, that we have to decide actually which relationship we want. Uh, uh, is it really a question of our decision? or we have to wait for the natural inclination of our heart actually because if we decide from 
which relationship you want to worship Radha or Krishna, this is from our mind actually. Should devotee have to wait, just naturally appear this uh, inclination, affection for Krishna? Depends from person to person. Depends from person to person and depends on Sukritis, how much Sukritis each person has. Some person, when he hears the, even when he is a small child, when he hears the word Rade, immediately his heart is blooming. And he said, no, this is my goal of life. <laughs> because we, we cannot learn it, you know, by force. It's not possible. This is the Sukriti from previous lives. I heard so many times Rade and nothing happened because I don't have Sukritis. And by the mercy now, this is valuable situation. My fortunate situation is that by mercy, in this lifetime, I have opportunity to collect more and more and more Sukritis. And when they are collecting sufficiently, then some attachment or a real genuine attachment spontaneously will appear in my heart. So decision, I want to become Radharani's maid servant. I totally agree with you. It can be with the mind, but also it can be with the heart. With the mind, devotee thinks, oh, I read and I heard that this is the most, most sublime position to become a servant. But when he starts to practice bhajan, he founds, oh, this is very difficult for me to identify myself like a maid servant, shadow of Radharani. I don't want to become anyone's shadow. Yeah. Because there he heard, but in artificial through the ego mind, he decided I want to become also like this. But someone, this is like you said, decision from the mind. But when decision is the result of Sukritis from the soul, it's going through mind because this is the instrument. But from the soul deeply, the person feels such a happiness indescribable happiness. I want to become the maidservant of Radharani. I finally found the goal of all my life or lives, many lives searching. And I want to be fixing that goal and I'm not interested about anything, anything else. Like Raghunath is saying here, in this way, there is no other shelter for me. So each person is unique, depends from person to person, but we should understand Ultimately, the free will which Krishna, not Radha, Krishna infused in the soul is the free will. Why he did that? Why he gave me free will if he knows that I will misuse? <laughs> Krishna gave free will because only through free will someone can decide, I want to love you. In this, in that relationship. Because love must be sign and result of free will.
Krishna doesn't want to use his Shakti to force someone to love him. Because this is the personal process. Everyone has to find in himself, deeply in the heart, does he really want to completely love Krishna, partially love Krishna, to be on a distance with him, to be close with him, and in which kind of relationship. For that, we have to listen and listen and listen those devotees who already have relationship with Krishna. Raghunath here, he has a relationship with Krishna, but not independently. Only through Radharani's feelings, through Radharani's emotions, through Radharani's senses, through Radharani's way of thinking. And he wants to serve Krishna only, there is only one reason, because Radha loves him. If Radha loves someone else, which is not possible, but theoretically, if Radharani wants to love someone else, it's okay, no problem. I will, I'm following her, I'm not following him. This is not possible, but just example. And also this is the best way how we can know the Krishna through his love. Many times Gurudev said, if you want to know husband, just approach to his wife. She will tell you everything, which you cannot understand and which you cannot know at all if he is talking directly to you. This is Gurudev's example, I like it so much. If I want to know my Jayanandaji, I have to, he is shy, he will not speak openly, completely open. I, I, I cannot go deeply in his heart. I have to approach his best friend. Because he knows him in different kinds of situations, you know, which I don't have possibility. To approach. So this is personal way of practicing. It's not impersonal. If you want, like Guru Das, if you really want to know what Rupa is holding in his heart. You have to approach Raghunatha because he is the loudspeaker of his heart. And if you read Utkali Kavalari without establishing firm relationship with Raghunatha, you will never understand Rupa. No? This is the way, uh, Janandaji, help me. This is the way how. Process is functioning. We cannot change it. This is the way how love is transformed and infused. Because this is personal thing, not me and Radha. No, th this is in person. This is my Avada, actually. Very, very covered my Avada. No. I want to, Narutama is singing, I want to be completely surrounding with your sakis in Manjaris. 
because your heart is present in each of them. They will help me. <laughs> and so on and so on and so on. We should understand. To approach Radharani without her devotee or maid servant, it's Mayavad. Same thing we did with Krishna before. And let's see what happened. <laughs> no. If you want to, to approach to Ramachandra, where is my Hanumanji? You have to approach. To whom? Hanuman. If you want to approach Narayan, you have to approach Lakshmi and her maidservants, her devotees. Sudama Brahma will infuse you with love for Narayan. But if we want to approach directly to Krishna, directly to Radha, Directly to pastime, this is my avada, I'm sorry, maybe I'm completely wrong, but this is my conviction. But it's too late. Maharaj, I didn't allow you to speak anything. This is my, such a parad. <laughs> Your word is much better than I. Your word is so sweet. You know, enough. Rather, rather, Goranga, your mic is out. Oh. Rather, rather, now I see Gurudev. It's on my third page of computer. Jai Ho. Jai Gurudev. Rather, rather, Gurudev. Rather, rather. Jai. Rather, rather. So many screens, I can <laughs> I cannot follow. Discard the photo. Yes, yes, I can. Yeah. Oh, so I want to say a little bit is okay. Yeah. So Radha Kripa Katakshadi's question, and I feel there is two way to approach Radha. Someone who is very fortunate, they can go directly approach by the mercy of Rashka Vaishnava. And also some person goes through Krishna to, through Krishna, go to Radhika. And I remember one, one, one story, Sanatana Goswami's Brihata Bhagavata Murita. Gopak Kumara went to Vaikuntha and Gopak, Gopak Kumara tried to embrace Lord Narayan. But uh, Narayan's associate said, no, 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 you cannot do this. And that time Narada Muni saw Gopakumara. Actually, your Baba, your feeling is not here, by, not, not by Kunta Baba. So you may, may go. So similarly, some person, natural tendency, and Krishna see the, the, the tendency, you go Radhika. So it may, you know, possible. So that is my, my feeling. Radhe, Radhe. Thank you very much. Jai Guru Dev. Jai Guru Is enlighten us.
My question is this, why Rasika Vaishnava is required? Why not I am sufficient to do myself? Because we are we are marginal position. We need we we need to be infused by Fradin Shakti. We need to infuse feeling. That feeling come coming from only Rashka Vaishnava. So if we want to become manjari by ourselves is not enough. Well maybe fortunate path may be possible. But generally speaking, we need the mercy of Rashka Vaishna because we need to, to, to develop feeling. We need someone, someone who infuse that bubble rasa rasa to us. So, so therefore, we need mercy of Rashka Vaishna. Without mercy, we cannot, we cannot practice. Raga Nuga Bhakti, especially Rupa Nuga Bhakti. That is my feeling, Guru Dev. <laughs> and this is Kripa Sadhi, not Sadhan Sadhi. Yes, Guru Dev. Only without Kripa. Many sadhana cannot possibly to get it without much. <laughs> and Mahaprabhu. 500 years back come and only he give the mercy through the mercy. And this Manjari Bhav, the sadhana is the very, very high, very high class thing. This sadhana is higher than Gopi Bhava. Gopi Bhava is the highest, but from that is high. We need our constitutional body for that. In Sadak Deha, we can not move for this. And this Sadak Deha also can change by the mercy. Radha Kripa, Samni Kripa. Because only touch of Mahajans change our life, what about 
divine touch of Swamini. Beautiful. So nice glass. I feel so happy to listen beautiful realizations. By listening, it remembers to live in this consciousness. So now I feel, oh, what is the meaning of drinking from the air? Mm. When the air drinks and ice talks, It's much more beneficial to listen than to talk. <laughs> we have two holes <laughs> in the ears and one hole of the mouth. It means that we should listen more with two holes, not only yeah. with one hole to speak. Uh, yeah. Oh. That. But we need your words. To relish. We need your mercy, Gurudev. Mercy is coming from Ramani and his Dasi, T Guru. Mm. 
Now it's time. Six thirty. Radhe Radhe. Huh? You are Can reading. You read verse? Yeah, yeah, read. Read. Yeah, thank you. Oh, shush, move. Move face. After your bath, may I gently and carefully wipe the water from your tender limbs with fine towels as the borders of your fish-like eyes joyfully move in all directions. And then, with goose pimples of ecstasy on my body, after covering your hips with the red silk and pet coat, may I cover all your limbs from your head down with an incomparably beautiful boat. Radhe, Radhe. Thank you, Gurudev, for your mercy. We don't hear you, Gurudev. No. Radhe, thank you. Yeah, I see Radhe, Gurudev. Yeah, I see Radhe. I love you, Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. I love you. <laughs> Thank you, Radhe, Radhe. How are you? Good? Good, very good, Gurude. And you? Very good. I love you, Gurude. Thank Hope you. Radhe. To you. Radhe. I love you, Gurude. I love you, yeah, Gurude. Yeah. Yeah, Radhe. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Mm -hmm. Radhe, Radhe, Gurudev. Radhe, 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 Radhe. 